formula writing and naming of acids. There are two kinds of acids you can have. You can have binary acids, which are made of a hydrogen plus a nonmetal ion, and ternary acids, which are made of hydrogen with a polyatomic ion from table E. Binary acids are named hydro, the ion name without the i, ic acid. For example, this, these would all start with hydro, hydro, hydro. The term hydro means it's a binary acid, and the second name is the nonmetal that's bonded to it. Br is bromide, becomes bromic acid. S is sulfide, sulfic acid, although it's more commonly known as hydrosulfuric acid. F is fluoride, hydrofluoric acid. And that's how you name binary acids. If you want to get the formula, an acid always begins with H plus 1. That's always the first ion, the positive ion. Phosphoric comes from phosphorus. Chloric comes from chlorine. So phosphorus has an ion charge of minus 3. Chloride has a charge of minus 1. And just like you would normally write a formula, H3P, HCl, and then to show it's an acid, you throw AQ after it to show it's dissolved in water. And that's writing the formula of a binary acid. Ternary acids have a polyatomic ion. You do not put hydro in the name. That doesn't mean hydrogen's still not there. It's just you're not going to put it in as part of the name. You're going to name the acid for the polyatomic ion that's in the acid. If the polyatomic ion ends in I or 8, acetate, cyanide, carbonate, hydrogen carbonate, oxalate, chlorate, perchlorate, chromate, dichrome 8, permanganate, nitrate, peroxide, hydroxide, phosphate, thiocyan 8, sulf 8, hydrogen sulfate, thiosulfate. Then the name ends in ic acid. What's that you ate? Ick acid! Acetic acid, cyanic acid, carbonic acid, hydrogen carbonic acid, which actually be, just technically be carbonic acid, oxalic acid, chloric acid, not hydrochloric, but chloric because it's ternary, chromic acid, dichromic acid, permanganic acid, nitric acid, phosphoric acid, thiocyanic acid, sulfuric acid, thiosulfuric acid. If the polyatomic ion ends in ite, I-T-E, hypochlorite, chlorite, nitrite, sulfite, then the acid name ends in us acid. What's that you ite? Us acid. For some reason it doesn't work as well. Chlorus acid, nitrous acid, sulfurous acid. NO2 is called nitrite. NO3 is called nitrate. CO3 is called carbonate. CN is called cyanide. SO3 is called sulfite. If the ending ends in ATE or IDE, what's that you ate? Ick. Acid. What's that you ate? Ick. Acid. What's that you eyed? Ick, acid. And ITE is replaced with OUS. What's that you eyed? Us, acid. What's that you eyed? Us, acid. Sulfus acid would technically be what you named with this system, but it's commonly called sulfurous acid. To write the formula of the acid, again remember that the first ion is always going to be hydrogen when you write a formula of an acid. Sulfuric comes from sulf 8. Dichromic comes from dichrome 8. Chlorus comes from chlorite. Perchloric came from perchlor 8. And all you need to do is look up these formulas on reference table E. Sulfate is SO4 minus 2. Dichrome 8 is Cr2O7 minus 2. Chlorite 
is ClO2 minus 1. Perchlorate is ClO4 minus 1. Then just write a formula like you normally would. It takes two plus ones to cancel out a minus two, H2SO4. Two plus ones to cancel out a minus two, H2Cr2O7. It takes one to cancel out one, HClO2. It takes one to cancel out one, HClO4. And then we slap AQ because an Arrhenius acid contains hydrogen dissolved in water. And those are the formula writing and naming of acids.